Hey guys, it's Misty from The Book Rat, and it's time for me to review one of my Austin and August stack of five winners. This time it's Epic Fail by Claire Lezebnik. Basically, Epic Fail is Pride and Prejudice retold in a modern Hollywood high school, where the Lizzie character is the daughter of the somewhat obnoxious school principal, and the Darcy character is the son of Hollywood's two biggest stars. Basically a really clever play on PNP. And as you guys already know from my rewind after I read this, big thumbs up. This was the right book at the right time. It was exactly what I needed. I was wanting something that was very fun and flirty and fluffy in a good way. And this book definitely fulfilled on that score. It's just full of cute and it's a really clever take. Even, you know, underneath all the fluff, it actually uses Pride and Prejudice in clever ways and sort of gets the characters, which I often struggle with in retellings because sometimes I feel like they just don't nail the characters and who they would be in that setting. And I think this one, it uses those elements of Darcy and Lizzie and many other characters in really good, really intriguing ways. Elise, the Elizabeth character, is really smart and sassy in the way that Elizabeth is and also has that sort of biting, prejudiced nature to her that you see in her even though you can't help loving her. Derek sort of nails the Darcyness in that you're not really sure you want to like him in the beginning and at some point you do realize that he is just shy and that he is just standoffish and that there are even reasons for that. And in the end, you you feel for him and you care for him. So she really captured those two iconic elements of their characters. What I found most impressive, though, was the character of Webster, which is the take on Wickham. He is very charming in the beginning, and he seems like he's just right for Elise. And you really do want to like him until you realize what a scumbag he is, and then he just kind of turns your stomach. And it just perfectly captures Wickham in the modern age. It is exactly how you feel when you're reading Pride and Prejudice, where you're liking this guy and you're rooting for him. And everyone who else has read it ha is like shaking their heads at you and saying, just wait, foolish child, just wait. And then you get there and you're like, really? With this douchebag? So I think Webster was Wickham. He was Wickham personified. He's that charmer. He's that social climber. He's got really questionable morals and this sort of just a consummate liar, just spot on, so I have to hand it to her for that. Another thing that it did really well was the sort of play on class structure that's a big part of Pride and Prejudice, and people's perceptions about each other based on class, and I think that she really was able to use that and make it really believable and relatable to a modern audience while still being exactly what was going on in Pride and Prejudice. So it's really... As fluffy as it can be to have it set in a high school and, you know, it's hard to take 17-year-olds seriously when they're in love. It really is a setting well-suited to the story, especially for a younger audience, you know, for a YA or a middle-grade audience. It capitalizes on some great things of Pride and Prejudice and has nods to the readers and is just kind of this fun, fluffy take, but one that makes sense and you can see why Claire Lezebnik made the decisions that she did or went the places that she did. It, it really works. And of course it's super quick, it's super engaging. Some will probably finish it and promptly forget it and be a kind of throwaway read, but in the moment and for what it is, it just really works and is fun. And I think that if you like retellings and aren't, you know, the type that nitpicks them, and if you're looking for something that kind of hits the notes, but is very quick and just kind of fun. You really can't go wrong if you're looking for a YA or a contemporary retelling that kind of plays with the story. This one's a good one to pick up and I'm really looking forward to seeing what she does from here on out. There is a retelling of Mansfield Park called Trouble with Flirting and I'm hoping she's gonna do the other novels as well because I think it could be a really fun take on Austen's world and I'm curious to see how she translates the characters into you know, modern YA settings. So even if it's fluffy and even if you think, you know, it's just going to be a throwaway, you're not into contemporary romance, whatever it is, if you are an Austinite, you could do worse and this one is super fun, so I definitely recommend it. That was my thoughts on Epic Fail by Claire Lezebnik. You can find more Austin retellings and author interviews, guest posts, giveaways, and all kinds of just awesome Austin goodness at Austin and August on the book rat. The link is below or you can click this video right now and it'll take you over to it. That's all from me for now. As always, thanks for watching and happy reading!